You too. B Smoke Calls back here with you. Let me tell you what we got going on today. Today we're going to do a brisket, but this is going to be what's known as the umami bomb brisket. Now, when I first started uh, doing barbecue, there were several YouTubers, Harry Sue to be one, um, and I, I can't think of the other two guys I saw do this. But what they did was, so let, let's go back. What is umami? Umami is that fifth sense. So we know we got uh, sweetness, saltiness, savoriness, um, with that last one being umami, right? Developed, I believe, by Japan and their way of cooking. Now, there are different ways we can draw out umami in something, but we're going to go the most natural route. What do I mean by that? I've got some things here on the table that contain MSG, MSG being the basis for that umami. Um, this is how we, we're gonna we're gonna pull that umami out, the flavor out of this brisket. Let me show you what we have. So of course we got a brisket. Here, I've got some actual nori papers. This is actual seaweed wraps, um, seen in uh, sushi. That is what this is. And if you did not know, the white powdery substance that is on nori is actual MSG. It's natural MSG. About the same as this stuff. Except this is kind of processed, right? But it still does the same. It's a flavor amplifier. Now, there are other things I have out here that are heavy in MSG. Of course, you've seen the accent. We use this when we want to pull the flavors out of stuff. Mushrooms are high in MSG. Currently, I've got this shiitake mushroom seasoning. I could not find mushroom powder, so this is what we're going with today. I also have some brisket rub that I, I made up a while ago. It's fresh. It's been kept fresh in this container. Now, what's in here? Celery seed, one of my favorites. Um, celery seed, if you didn't know, helps with a uh, it helps with a smoke ring. If you didn't know, in here we got big grain, salt, black pepper garlic powder all right and then we also have seasoning salt in here so now knowing that we're making an umami bomb brisket here's what we're gonna do I've got soy sauce soy sauce is another form of um, umami umami flavors in here is actually natural MSG so I, around my house, we use soy sauce for a bit of everything besides just Asian cooking. So let's get started and get this brisket seasoned. And I'm going to show you how we're going to bring this umami bomb brisket together. Stay tuned. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get this brisket rubbed down again. We're going in with soy sauce. Again, a product that's full of umami. We're gonna, I don't want too much. We're going to get it slotted on there. We are, again, with all the rest of my briskets, like you've seen, we rub in the back side down first. We'll get the presentation side last. All right, that's gonna be enough. I assume this is probably gonna take eight to 10 hours. Um, I'm gonna do this on my Weber kettle. All right. I started to use fish sauce. However, I forgot we're going to have visitors and they are, um, they have shellfish allergy, so we're not gonna do that. I want everybody to be able to taste this, so now, Got my seasoning, and we're gonna get busy. Put this back here. Now, one of the basis of a uh, uh, umami flavor, that MSG, is salt, right? It is a salt derivative. So we gotta be careful now. This is a big piece of meat. This is about a 13 pound brisket if I haven't mentioned it. Um, there are also other ways to pull out that umami flavor. I've seen Dorito chips used. If you guys get a chance, go to Harry Sue's video. It's one of his earliest videos. And uh, he did this and it looked pretty good. I'm actually going for it. I'm gonna cook this Texas style. Not gonna pull this off until I have a Texas style bark, right? That deep black color. But we're focusing also on the flavors as well. Alright. Okay. That's about it for this side. I'm going to give this a minute to tack up. 
and then um, I'll be back with you. Let's get this other side. We're gonna get some soy sauce on, and I've gotta get the size too. All right, that's about enough. I'm gonna get that all rubbed in. Now, now you guys have heard me say before with binders, uh, I don't remember ever tasting them after, you know, we get the finished product. So, but I do know that soy sauce is high in those, um, it's high in MSG, saltiness, that umami flavor, right? So we, this is what we're gonna roll with. There, there are other things I could have used. I'm not gonna do that. I am outside. Um, it's a bit windy today. We're gonna get this other side seasoned. And then I'm going to get a fire started so we can go ahead and get this on. I'm excited to see what this is going to taste like. This is my presentation side. All right. So now we need to get those edges. Didn't go as heavy on this side as I did on the bottom side. So let's get these edges. You can kind of smell it. it smells good. That, that uh, shiitake mushroom. Now, I could have did this last night and let these flavors soak into the brisket. I didn't. Um, I didn't see anybody else that attempted to make this do that. So I'm just following suit of what I've seen before. Now, once I get a baseline of, as far as taste, then maybe the next time I do this, we'll make some changes. However, it smells delicious already. You can smell that soy sauce. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can. That's gonna be about it. I might come back and hit it with some black pepper. Let's do that while I still got you guys on the cam. Again, this is one of my favorite black peppers to use. It's a bit windy, so bear with me. Again, we don't rub, we pat. Pepper absolutely helps with bark as well. All right, we're gonna call it good there. You can never have too much black pepper on it, guys. All right, I'll be back. Next time you see me, I'll be going ahead and starting a fire and getting this on. Stay tuned. Let me show you what we have. Actually, first of all, let's show you what I'm rocking with. Again, kinks for blue bag. I got Royal Oak Lump Charcoal. This burns hotter than this. I mix the two, I like the flavor that I get, and then today we are rolling with hickory wood. I put two large chunks under the charcoal. The charcoal burns from top to bottom and then across. I put two large chunks in the bottom and then one, one chunk over the top of the fire. So let's see what we're actually working with. Actually, it's my spritz, full of MSG. Natural MSG, right? So it's not going to be overly salty. All right, now let's see what we're looking like. Literally, it's only been about five minutes, right? Just put this on. You can see we got a nice smoke rolling. Again, that smoke is important for the very first upfront portion of the brisket cook. That brisket's still wet um, because of the slather that we used, and it's cold. That's when that smoke adheres. We've got, you see the lump. In there that piece of hickory on top is going and then over here I do have water in that trough 
I didn't roll with hot water today, so it's going to take a little bit more energy for this fire to warm or heat that water through. But I like the way this brisket looks on this kettle. That back curve is up against the curve of that kettle. I like it. Stay tuned, guys. That's that umami brisket. Let's see what we got. I've never done this before. All right, guys. This is about three hours in. Let's see what we got. All right. Fire looking good. We still got you know at least six, seven more hours on that fire till I have to come out here and start replacing coals. Let's do a scratch test. No, we're not ready. That it's coming off on my fingers. It's not ready yet. Ready for what? Ready for me to start spritzing. I still got my spritz here. We're gonna let put it uh, get this top back on before my fire get out of hand. And we gonna let it stay on here. I probably I give it another two hours. I'll come back and check again. Be back. YouTube, Beast Smoke House back here with you. Here's my finished product. Again, this is what I am calling my version of the umami bomb brisket. Let's recap what we did before I cut into this. All right, so I had about a 13 pound brisket. I trimmed it uh, about two days before, let it set in my uh, refrigerator. Um, the day of cooking, so which that was like uh, Saturday night, I took the brisket out. Again, I composed a seasoning of um, mushroom powder that was that was the main thing mushroom powder for this one um, typically bonito flakes is used I didn't use any of that I did use other items known to have that umami flavor aka MSG um, I went with my regular salt to pepper ratio uh, which is about two pepper to one salt um, I also the seasoning I used was from a previous brisket cooked it had a, a celery seed, and if you didn't know, celery seed helps with your bark and it helps with your uh, 
with the smoke ring. Now for the binder for this brisket, I actually use soy, um, soy sauce, which is actually another umami based ingredient. I was going to use fish sauce in the whole scheme of things. However, I've got a visitors here and they are allergic to shellfish, so I didn't use that. Now. I'm probably going to redo this again using my actual stick burner smoker. For this, I used uh, hickory chunks. I also used my Weber kettle 22 inch with my smoke and sear attachment in it. Now, let's get into it. I'm not going to cut this whole thing. Um, I'm not going to slice this whole thing open um, because we're going to eat this a bit later and I want to keep it as warm as possible. All right, so I got my bread slicer. I call this my brisket slicer because that's really what it's all is used for. Um, one of the things I can tell you that's different is that that uh, that shiitake mushroom powder that I use was a bit coarser than I like. Next time I do this that's going to get grounded down. All right? I can smell it. It smells awesome. Let's go ahead and so you got your point and you got your flat. We're going to go in here Plenty of juicy. This has been setting in my in my oven at the lowest it'll go, 170. You can see the juice is running. So we can see it. I don't necessarily squeeze my meat. However, I know the fat's rendered. You can tell a bit of yellow fat in there. Um, and that's what we want. I'm gonna get a few slices off. If you did know to keep this from oxidizing, we set it up end over end. Then now what I'm gonna do, get this out of the way. Then I'm going to get me a few slices off here if this stays up. So if you didn't know, this is two different muscles. So this is where the burnt ends come from. This is what we're going to start with. For the simple fact that, again, I don't want to cut this all apart yet. You can see the juice coming out of there. That looks delicious. All right. Now, let's get a slice from here. A little bit different. Uh, the seasonings were a bit different. So these are burnt ends. Usually these is how these are prepped. Take these. All right. And then, so this is going to get wrapped back up in saran wrap and fall you and put back in my oven on its lowest setting. But I want to get a taste in front of you guys. Look at that. Let's see what we got. It's pretty good. So, I could use a little bit more salt. Here's the issue that mushroom powder already has salt in it. So, I didn't want this to be an overly salty brisket. I can taste that umami flavor. I, I think at the end of the day, I could have used a bit more salt. However, it's still delicious. This is going to eat. I plan on saving some of this. And I'm going to show you guys one of the ideas I've got for leftover brisket. Let's get one, one of these burnt ends. You can see that? It's pretty good. I like that bark on there. See that? That's pretty good. I love that fat. That fat has picked up a lot of flavor. Guys, if you haven't done so already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be Smokehouse on YouTube. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate the assistance you guys have given me already. Look forward to more banger videos coming out. Um, until next time, Be Smokehouse out.